I know, but it's nice to be like. Not well, see, now you can start over again. Oh, true. See, you are helping. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just chose the wheelbarrow on the side. It says, if found, please return to, and it's some miscellaneous bar. <laughs> okay. We go take the, we take the wheelbarrow back and then we just leave, I just leave the guy. He can just fucking. Yeah. They, they look so impressed that they give you a free drink for actually bringing the wheelbarrow Ooh. back because you guys have never done that before. <laughs> I was in the wheelbarrow most of the last session. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than being in the barrel. Mm. So, what do Robin and Batgirl do next? No. <laughs> um. oh, this campaign's taken so many weird twists. Oh, by the way, Chris, um, could you get, and it doesn't need to be an exact tally, but if you were to roughly add up how many points percentage-wise you have in spells, I am curious if it breaks 200, 500, or 1,000 points total, if you were to add up all your skill percentages, roughly. It doesn't need to be exact. Uh -huh. Cool. So um, while he's doing that, Yanni, you get to run things because he's got to do math, and math is hard. Yeah. I'm sure I break five, but I don't think I break a thousand. Okay. Well, because breaking I five is good. Active. Breaking a thousand is pretty much uh, the best. I'm not concerned about it after that. So. Or two. You're feeling kind of beat up, Yana. Mm. I don't like it. How many points do you have of damage? Uh, seven. Can you can you heal me or something? Three, three will or four will go away after a good night's sleep. The rest, eh, who knows? Yeah. Maybe we should just go and rest today. Yeah, I just break 500. Cool. All right, that's fine with me. Like, we can do that since we, like, have no pressing business here as far as I know. I hope so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you guys want to go to rest? Let's go to our shitty place. I would like to point out you are missing certain key things that would really help you rest like a bed. Okay. Um, I mean, don't we have the inn that we've been yeah, staying at? To the hotel then. Well, uh, actually, the rent on that has gone away, and you guys bought a building instead. Oh, then is there anywhere to stay at in the building? Uh, yes, there's many rooms. The problem is only two of them are clean. One of them is uh, already been claimed by uh, somebody else. The other one is the woman with no names room. And there are cleaning supplies in her room that she rightfully stole from somebody else and then cleaned the shit out of one of the rooms. Um, and then there are many, many trashed out uh, rat dropping infested rooms uh, to choose from. There aren't things like chairs, tables, beds, alcohol, food, etc. Uh -huh. Mm. You have money, right? Yeah. Mm. All those things could be <laughs> yours, yes. What about buying a bed and an alcohol? And yeah, that's it. Okay. Nice. Uh, you you can uh, pretty much make uh, two of the rooms uh, comfortable if you want for around 20 silvers. Okay, I do so. Done. Yeah, uh, you've got two rooms like minimal comfort, like mattress on the floor equivalent. If you wanted to spend 100 silver, then they're nicely appointed comfortable. 
Okay. Nicely? Okay. Cool. You guys have two nice rooms. Uh, uh, they're clean, cleaned up and stuff. I know Doc Fulton's never been adverse to some hard work, even if it's late night, uh, crawling around on fire escapes, wearing a brain on his head. But anyway, uh, yeah, you've got two nice rooms. Um, you guys are able to relax and stuff. Uh, Yana, give me a willpower roll. Let's see how your good night's sleep goes. Um, it's it's times five, I think. You re you are only down two real hit points still. You are okay. one third of the way better. Doc, you're feeling restless. It's the morning. It's the next day. Uh, after uh, spending another uh, eight silvers feeding uh, Yana, you unless do you want to limit her alcohol and take a little bit? Yes, five silvers total. Uh, you got you got some morning mimosa, but other than that, yeah, not a lot. Uh, I miss Alex. <laughs> mm. Yeah, having having the uh, I. The, the uh, breakfast of Dionysus, says the waiter. There you go. And he gives you uh, food and drink and heads off. Mm. Doc Fulton looks at you as though it may be significant. What? <laughs> so what do you guys do? Mm. So besides doing like regular, like just side things, what mm -hmm. else was going on here? So many major missions. Mainly, well, we wanted to figure out what's going on with Princess Danny, but we didn't get to it. Then uh, there was the, oh, there was the thing with Burlington. That was fun. Uh, some other dimensions uh, invaded Burlington and killed everybody. But we restarted it, and now it's okay again. But the guy it. walks up to your table and looks around. He goes, "Hey, yeah, you holding? No. You want to be? No. The uh, the guy's wearing like a mask, and he holds up a backpack. It's got a strange picture on it. It seems to be two halflings tied to a tree who seem to be in great distress." being urinated on by a laughing hill giant. This is a backpack holding. I'm selling it right now. You interested? No. Yeah. You, miss? No. You can hold, it's a magical backpack. You can hold extra shit in it. <laughs> Looks around. No? All right. He hides it again. Heads off. Mm. Mm. So, where are my pigs? So, there is some kind of like dinosaur infested, like T Rexes with lasers, I think was said. Um, this is all part of the nothing new going on thing, apparently. <laughs> T Rexes with lasers? What is, yeah. Where is that happening? Yeah, that's the like the reality that uh, there. Somebody made a gate to Burlington, and they they came through that. Who made the gate to Burlington? We don't know. Some people or something. And they had dinosaurs, it seems, from the tracks. And, and agents didn't come for anyone when that was happening? That's the thing. They didn't. Yes. So we were thinking that maybe agents come just when we when we do something. Or the Burlington was like shut down, like things didn't work there when we came. There were just like dead bodies and like pyramids, alto heads and stuff like that. Again, fitting in the nothing special. <laughs> where where is this? Where is that going on exactly? What? Where? Yeah, like, like, can you show me the gate to where that stuff happened at? 
Oh, I think they shut the gate down because that was the way to re restart Burlington. But the guy with a violin comes up to your table and starts playing loudly. We didn't go into the gate because <laughs> shut up, go away. <laughs> he says. We didn't go into the gate because it seemed too dangerous. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> we, I think we shut the gate down and restarted the link then. Can you show me where that gate is? We can go there and see if it's still there, but I think it's not still there. Okay. You might have just suppressed it. We could see. I wouldn't, mm -hmm. I'd be interested. Okay, let's go to Berlington then. So we need right. to go. We go How to do you want to get there? We, oh, okay. Should we go to Clemson and then we go yeah. to Burlington? Yes. I, you guys. We can, get, we can restock our Ovaltine rings while we're here too. Oh. Mm. Yeah. You guys head over to Clemson and he goes, Hi, big mutton chop sideburns. What can I do you for? Uh, can I have a shave? Hot towel? Yeah. Where are you going back to? Burlington. And you as well, miss? Yeah. Right. He put you guys in the chair, put hot towels in your face, and then they just sit there and sit there and give me listen rolls. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you hear the one with no name going, shit. Yep. You guys hear. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? Sounds like it's coming from a distance, though. Okay. Um, you can hear horses galloping and whoops, uh, female whoops oh, and fuck. shooting. Okay. So these people in the in are here now. Okay. Hearing the woman with no name go, oh, fuck, as you're sitting there with a hot towel literally covering your face is not doing you any good. So and, we don't go anywhere. Like, we don't feel I, we don't feel the shift, but we hear that outside. Uh, you're, you've never really felt the shift before, but usually he takes off the hot towel afterward. All right, He's so bad. I take off the hot towel. Is he here or no? Right. You look around. It looks like the front window's been broken. You can see uh, Clem laying face down in a pool of blood. It appears that he has uh, been shot uh, in the head. And um, you can hear horses and uh, women go, Woohoo! <laughs> Happy Friday! <laughs> <laughs> Happy Friday! You hear women yelling in the distance. This is different, Yana, but both of you give me a Sandy roll because shit going down again. And Yana, you're having fucking flashbacks now. Going, Aah! I didn't make it. Uh, it's it's uh, D4 for, uh, you can put it toward uh, either human gore gross out or war. Okay. Your choice. You'll eventually max that shit out. Did Doc make his? Yeah. You've done worse. Yeah, it's much worse. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Go outside to see what the fuck is going on. Uh, right. When when you get close to the door and stuff, you look out and you see a bunch of uh, uh, large, and by large I mean like, say, six-footer, uh, 1.8 meter, women riding around on horses uh, shooting up the town. Uh, you recognize them as uh, uh, they seem to have come from uh, both of you guys went to the Arctic Western thing at one point. I know Yana was there and yeah. liked it. It's those women. Mm. They're just riding around shooting up the place. So they somehow found their way back here. You're not I... sure how they got here. For those who are longtime listeners and stuff, I'd like to point out, yes, I finally got to this. <laughs> so, That's weird. it I'm appears that there's lots of people who are like down in the street, uh, laying in pools of blood, men, women, children, doesn't matter. And some of them are still walking around like nothing's going on, telling each other happy Friday and shit. Mm -hmm. 
And you're thinking, this is not going to go well. Hmm. I go to the I go to the general store. <laughs> Are you wanting to do so stealthily or just walk around like happy Friday? It appears stealthily the, for now. Yeah. Yeah, I know you want to be stealthy too or get shot. Yeah. Stealthy. Okay. <laughs> Both of you give me a stealth roll at full because uh, the women are pretty, pretty busy and stuff. Crit. Maybe. All right. You head with the ninja, you think. You guys eventually reach the uh, general store. It looks like it's been trashed up pretty good. Uh, there's some horse shit in here, and it looks as though uh, the guy who normally sells stuff has been kicked to death, possibly by a horse. Um, yeah, it, it's all wrecked up and everything. Uh, Chris, roll a D12. Higher is better. Ten. You find ten Ovaltine boxes you can clutch to your chest and go, mine, mine. Okay. I will, well, all you need is the proof of purchase thing, right? Ah, okay. You tear all those off. Yeah. Scattering the Ovaltine around like some sort of common, uh, well, you've got the proofs of purchase anyway. Now you can read the boxes. It's really dull. So, um, so can I find a white cowboy hat in here? Give me a luck roll, you badass. Down, no. down, or oh well. Up, oh, that was my idea. That's the whole reason I came in here. <laughs> there might be right. one in Long's Taylor. Okay, we'll go. To the, we'll we'll go stealth over there. Give me stealth rolls as you guys scurry over to a different right. shop. Right. Uh, you're not sure if Chris left the store or not, but he seems to be gone, Yana. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, you are good at stealth because that's a survival thing in this world. You guys uh, get there. Give me luck rolls at full for cowboy type hats or possibly bowlers or whatever. Yin yang. Oh. Yana, discard all your sheet and draw a new sheet. Yeah. That's funny because I'd drawn a uh, different yin yang when I was doing the combat, and I was like, oh, they dodged a bullet there. Mm. Which is extra funny right now. Yep, the extremely violent women are just riding around, shooting up the town, yelling, Happy Friday, motherfucker. Right, laptop. Excellent. It shows back at the uh, mansion, which is owned by Doc Fulton. It just shows his laptop. Go, shows us, it shows like, a, uh, you know, the guys who are retrieved balls at the tennis court and they like crouch near the net. And then when a ball hits it and just, and then they rush out, grab it and uh, toss a new ball. Somebody does that with the laptop. <laughs> <laughs> What's behind the door number two? Go Yana. I'm doing a quick AFK. Okay. Effects of a dissolute lifestyle. Oh no, that sucks for you. That's awful. Yeah, that's not. Mm. I don't play with this. Okay, big four. Two. Learning, that's okay. If I got minus one on willpower, I would be mad. Um, okay. Oh, so what's behind the door number two again? It's never ending. <laughs> Feeling paranoid. Okay. 
What do you do with all the cards? You just discard them or do you choose which one to keep? Um, I think you discard all the cards. Okay. Right. Did you guys make your luck roll? Do you have white cowboy hats? Uh, or bowlers? I, I made the luck roll, but I also have a feeling paranoid card. So if you want... You have a what? Feeling paranoid. If you have negative favors with an NPC, one of them will do something bad to you. I think they are already doing that. <laughs> but yeah, they. I don't think you got on well with these women, did you? No. I don't think you get on well with most women, do you? <laughs> The female of the species is angry at Yana. Go figure. Yeah, it's not my fault. Okay. okay. I'm done. Good. Hmm. There you go. What do you guys do now? It appears that they're rooting, tooting, shooting. Hmm. It's weird that Burlington got like trashed twice in a row. <sighs> oh, well. <clears throat> so I go outside. Wait, well, can I? Is there at least a? Oh, I know what we can do. We can go. Mm -hmm. We sh we need to go to the police station. Oh. Okay. The Where sheriff. The sheriff will have a hat, and the. <laughs> Give me a luck roll at negative thirty. To find a white hat there, Chris. Damn it. <laughs> All right, I can at least find a gun holster here, though. Yep. Absolutely. So, are all the cops dead? Oh yeah. Are the are the guards dead? Yep. Okay. Are you ready? <clears throat> Always. All right. Let's go and let's. Do you do you have pistols? Do you have everything you need? I think I have. I have, I have guns. Or something. Gun. A gun. You're not sure? <laughs> I am sure. I'm just not sure what I have on me, but I, I think that if we were going to Burlington, then I would take the gun that is usable there. So, yeah. Well, there's guns here in the in the police station. Also a possibility. Yeah. Actually, both of you guys give me a luck roll. Got my luck roll. Nothing special. Mm -hmm. No. Look, a pistol, a couple of holsters. I grab the holster. I put my mm -hmm. Buck Rogers gun into it. Your which gun into it? My Buck Rogers gun. Mm -hmm. Got it. You ready? Is there uh -oh. is there is there any uh is there any vests here? No. I figure this is too, that's too low tech. Just the question, which side are we joining? <laughs> oh, we're we're gonna go take them out. Which ones? All uh, of them? Yeah. Okay. Well not the people of Burlington. They're they're gonna reset tomorrow anyway. But I mean the uh the the, the women. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Come All right. Give me give me evidence analysis roles. For more info. Got it. You're thinking all this crap started within half an hour, hour. Okay. Holy they shit. Been they, here that long. I was, they've wrecked some fucking havoc here. There are about 20 some of them. Oh, there's 20 of them. About. Oh, okay. <laughs> we will have to ambush them in small packs then. 
Yeah. No problem. I uh, give me stealth rolls to creep up on what will hopefully be a small pack. And then one of you can give me a uh, supporting luck roll, and the other one can make the luck roll. You guys figure out who's doing it, because Yana's an expert at luck rolls, I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. Uh, you want to support my luck roll? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, What's that? Of course I did you did support. Yeah. So plus 10, Chris. <laughs> So it's by half. You guys are sneaking over. And you see some other people that are sneaking in the same direction as you. One of which is about a meter high um, dog with a monocle. And he stops and looks at you. And there's also a couple of uh, other guys. And there's a dude with a big Lego head. Sandy rolls. And he goes... And then there's two other guys that look like just normal humans. I look over, um, and I I do like. <laughs> the little dog guy pulls out a small mirror, finds his son, and goes, <laughs> and begins flashing at you. Give me a signaling roll. He'll try his. I have no idea. All right. Great. He does some flashing, goes. Can I try it? I'll also? sneak over there. Yes. Yes, you can. No. Oh, wait a minute. Are you sure? Are you sure, Yana? Wait a minute. I made it. Oh, my God. Right. Um, Yana. Yeah, the, the signaling is in simple Morse code, and it's classic pincher's attack. So if he goes over there, that's going to fuck it up. Plus, he's going to have to cross the street of death. Mm -hmm. Don't go there. So why? Well, what's going on? He's signaling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, is, what does he say? Well, but I, I don't understand him. Do you? Yes. I tell I tell all. Okay. I nod and I continue creeping on this side. Okay. You guys get into a uh, creeptastic range. Um, there are about 13 of them that you're going to be ambushing. The rest are off uh, trying to light something on fire. Okay. You guys uh, give me stealth rolls. Lower indicates you are closer. You guys are hampered with the worst stealth roll. Chris stands up and begins pelvic thrusting at him, going, Who's the daddy here? It's me. So you don't get very close at all. They all look at you, and the other guys go, huh, Except the Lego guy goes, Ha ha ha. And he's becoming more and more Lego as time goes on. Uh, right. I don't know if you guys recognize those guys, but. Um, or if you've seen them before, no? <clears throat> Great, yeah, you pretty much rec remember a Lego-headed dude and shit like that. They're all armed and stuff, and uh, they're creeping, they're gonna be spending a couple rounds creeping closer as uh, the women on horseback uh, look at you and begin to uh, gallop in your direction. So we go into your dramatic combat. I'm gonna play the rapid card cycler right quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> what a great first card. Let me know when you're ready with that. Oh, Yana's escaping. Did you get anything good, Chris? Nothing spectacular, but I did get rid of a fuck your couch, so I'll take it.
<laughs> All right. So, where's your button, Yana? I thought you did. You get new headphones or something? No. Oh no, but I don't know what anything is. So. The yeah. button's the most important thing you own, Yana. We've covered this. Yes, I know. I I, I will find it again uh, one uh, day. It uh, will be glorious. Mm. Well, because otherwise it goes. I know. I'm sorry. Do you have a paper clip? No, I don't. I really don't have anything. Well, uh, yeah, I have some things, but no. Nope. If I was in Czech Republic, I'd get you a fucking button. It would say, don't forget me or something like that. Yeah. And then you'd forget it and it'd feel bad. So you guys ready? Chris? Yes? Mm -hmm. Right. Round one of dramatic combat. Villains are first. And letting out a battle cry is the approved action. So uh, they attempt to charge toward uh, uh, the guy who's pelvic thrusting at them and attempting to get right. You've never seen such a clusterfuck of horses in your life. They, a couple of people get knocked off. They seem to be milling around and whatnot. He has created absolute chaos in their midst. Mm -hmm. If you guys were closer, you could actually do some damage, but you're still quite far away, well out of your uh, pistol range, unless you're firing at huge negatives. Rifle would be handy. If you had a rifle right now, that'd be super handy. You don't. Mm -hmm. So, right. Uh, and uh, Doc, what do you do? So for the pincher move to work, they have to be up here so they can come at them from the other side. So I will wait for it. Or I'll get cover, but like so they can see me, but like I'm right next to cover. Uh, you're already, you've already got that. You don't oh, I do? To, yeah. Okay. In that case. Letting out a battle cry is the approved action. I'll let out a battle cry. Let's hear it. Ah, die, bitches! <laughs> and you yeah, take guard, Yana? I just wait. All right. No problem. You're, you're, they only think that there's him right now because you made your stealth roll, I believe. Yep. And... Right, they they cluster around. They they're having their very own clusterfuck, independent of you guys. Next round, villains are first and in god mode. Heroes are second. Nothing is approved. Uh, they attempt to straighten out their horses and shit to ride in this direction. Uh, yes, they they are slowly making their way over here. Uh, they're shooting up random civilians or the air on their way. Um, they don't make it very far because horses kind of speed up as they go. So uh, they're still too far. They're out of range still. Do you guys want to do anything or wait for it? I'm going to wait. We'll wait for it. Or I'm going to wait for it. I'll be <laughs> right back. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. I'll get through the next two wait for it rounds until they mm -hmm. get within range. Uh, yeah. Acrobatics is approved if you'd like to try acrobatics, Yana. No, I just stay hidden. No problem. They continue uh, charging this way. Uh, wit is approved, Yana. They'll be here next round if you want to say something witty to get a card. They are so fast. <laughs> Take a card, you weirdo. And, right, they're trying their riding here. Yeah, okay. At last, they're fucking moving their horses. And this is the round I'll wait until Chris gets back before doing because they're going to shoot yeah. the fuck out of him. Oh, and what a perfect fucking round. Because <laughs> heroes are hindered this round. Oh. Yeah, perfect oh. fucking round. When I have decks over 80, I have a bonus to shooting, right? Is it yep, any ranged weapon. Yeah, so yeah. so I go one dice up. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Do you do you have this this uh, bonus? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So normally the the kind of pistol, because I'm gonna guess you're wanting to use the pistol that they yeah. have here, which is like a 45 heavy mm -hmm. pistol. So I believe, let me double check here. I believe heavy pistol does d10 normally heavy melee or pistol yeah d10 so you're up to d12 okay 
and if you uh, a way to increase your damage because normally this pistol um, has like seven shots but mm -hmm. if you double tap then mm -hmm. you go up to instead of d12 you do d6 plus d8 damage but it uses bullets up twice as fast mm -hmm. yeah yeah cool chris this is the round that they will finally be within range of you and you of them okay villains are first heroes are second and hindered defending is approved would anybody be on active defense this round Yes. By the way, Chris, there's a lot of people going to shoot at you. Great. Um, okay, so uh, they pretty much shoot the fuck out of Chris. Uh, Chris, for your hindered, the uh, holster is too tight for your ray gun, so you're going to have to spend a full action to pull it out or a fast draw negative 30. Okay. Okay. And Yana, eh, your hindered is they spot you. Okay. So. Uh, right, they're mostly shooting at Chris, but you are getting a couple of uh, people who are going to shoot at you. Fortunately, because of their shitty horse riding, they're not getting their full strength onto you. So three are going to uh, shoot at Chris, one will shoot at Yana. They're on horses and they're riding like at a canter in this direction. So they're not at any bonuses or anything. Hit, miss, oh. miss. Try, try a dodge roll for the hit, Chris. Got it. All right. And Yana. Hey. So these guys are not professional death bringers, apparently. Don't get me wrong. There's some that are good, but these are not the fucking cream of the crop. So, uh, Yana, you're the only one with an action left. Mm -hmm. uh, I shoot at one of them. The one shooting at you or one shooting at Chris? One shooting at me. All right. Is it also if you're double tapping, declare it ahead of time if you're wanting to okay. pump and damage. So I do just normal now. Roll your D12 because you got a dex. Uh, roll, roll. Keep track just of it, Yana. Okay. Right. right. And next round. The other guys, I'm not going to roll out their combat, but the other guys are working on uh, battering the people who are not shooting at you. But villains are first to get reinforcements. The rest of them are coming riding up, whooping and a whopping and a hollering. Defense is again approved. Is anybody actively defending this round? I'm going to. There's six. There's. You said there's how many of them and they're shooting at me? Three. Three shooting at me? Yes. Okay. No active defense? Very well. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going. Oh. I'm actually, this time, I got lucky last round. So I'm going to try a super dodge first. I'm going to... Oh, no, that's right. I can just try I, I can just try that, and if it doesn't work, I can just dodge normally. That's. Uh, hmm. What's it say on super dodge? That's all I have written down. You, oh. this is that, I got this before you gave full big description things that I could... Good man. Copy. Good man. Hold on. I will give you the full big description thing as it's finally come up. Uh, sorry, Yana. Just a moment, yeah. Let's see, uh, matrix powers. Super. Okay, let's look for dodge instead. Super dodge, there it is. Okay. Oh, instant cast time. Um, yeah, so you can definitely do your thing. Here's the full description there, Chris. Hey, yo. For those who are watching at home, super dodge casting time instant range self duration one round. Magic point costs six. So Chris just lost three magic points for it not working because you lose half. Um you know that, yes, Chris? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, description, this must be invoked at the beginning of the round before you start rolling dodge rolls against incoming attack. For the entire round, all ranged attacks may be dodged at full. If someone attacks you with anything not ranged, it can only be dodged normally. Uh, this ability does, or not ranged, this ability basically does nothing. Uh, San loss if observed, 
Fortunately for you, Yana, you didn't do it. And uh, unless they're busy with a different combat other than the ones fighting the PC with the skill, no sand loss for the user. So fortunately, Yana is quite busy shooting other people, guessing that same wounded guy. Basically, they're all stopping and just blazing away at you guys. So Yana, go ahead and give the give a roll again. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, let me check on the people shooting at Chris real quick. I forgot, sorry. And the people shooting at Yana. Right, one fumble card for one of Chris's people and Yana's person. There's a whole lot of lead flying around. And here's the fumble card. Right, Chris and, well, everybody. That one, the one person, the first person who uh, was shooting at Chris, you guys are at a bonus if you uh, attack them this round and you're at a plus 30 to hit them. They go, ah, and they kind of make themselves a bigger target and stop moving entirely. So if you guys want to shoot at that particular person who's number one on Chris's three, plus 30 to hit that person. Their life is hell now. So, right, Chris, what do you do? Oh, you were dodging. And dodged. over to Yana. I shot the person who's attacking me for four. Oh, Okay. Uh, that was last round, Yana. This is a new was round. It? No, yeah. but I, I rolled the same. Oh, you, you rolled again. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. So they're up to eight? Yes. All oh, right. They are definitely not really enjoying this. Um, cool. So that one guy survives his bad round. Yay, he says. I. Meanwhile, the other guys are fighting, but it looks like uh, the rest of the, the people are riding this direction. So you're thinking that unless you guys can quickly change the odds of the fight, then you uh, you and your five amigos will quickly get swept under by the weight of numbers. Next okay. round. Villains are first. Attack is approved. Wow. So uh, let's see. On Chris, uh, they're all shooting. Chris, are you actively defending or are you just going to get some? I'm going to get some this round. All right, and they fire off wildly, hitting another fumble card and a miss. And on Yana, that guy, uh, there, that lady, sorry, she dives off of her horse and is attempting to eat com some cover. Unfortunately, she just gets a fumble card instead. So first off on Chris, the uh, one who shot at you, they go, ha-ha! And the the top part falls off of their pistol, and it just pretty much disassembles in their hand. They go, <laughs> and the one that was attempting to get cover off of uh, their thing, all their money on them has disappeared. Where did it go? Nobody knows. It's gone. Strange. You suspect the woman with no name and Alex Kinley spent it on alcohol when you were not looking. That's what's on the fumble card. That's what you get. So, although I misspelled no. Anyway, right. Uh, Chris, time to get some. So, how close are they all? They are uh, within uh, pistol range at full. But your pistol is currently kind of jammed in its holster unless you make a quick draw negative 30 or spend the entire round taking it out. I'll try a quick draw negative 30. Get Why some. Not? I don't make it, so I pull it out. Uh, he says, God damn sticky pistol. I need a special holster for this. Yana, what are you doing? I okay. shoot it my person for five, so it's now... Uh, she she falls behind the rubble that she was so much wanting to get. What It shows her with her wallet out going, where? <laughs> falls over dead. And one less person to buy you drinks, you think. Meanwhile, a uh, general role for the, the uh, five guys on your guys' team, not doing great. And on the bad guys' team, they're, they're, they're starting to kill the shit out of them. I have and, an assist re-roll. Oh, they're happy to use that. Boop. They, yes, they are fighting valiantly and stuff. And the, the dog-like guy goes, Mr. Pickles, and stabs somebody in the foot. He is um, so charming. And the guy screams, or lady rather. And so we now move into next round. It looks like they're holding their own against the, the bad guys. But 
the other group of bad guys riding, bad girls riding, riding this way. I don't want to say bad girls. I'll give Chris the wrong impression. Evil women, still wrong impression. Anyway, um, the other combatants riding this direction are definitely going to, they will probably kill off those five before uh, I get there. And give me listen rolls. Mm-hmm. This is over the noise of battle and pistols going off everywhere. I have. Diana? No. Right. Doc, you hear, it sounds like big propellers going. And next round. Villains are first. Heroes are again hindered. Shaking fist at foe is approved. Right. Chris, your two attempt to uh, uh, shoot you. The other one uh, takes out her rifle. <laughs> That's her whole action is getting out the rifle. The other two blaze away. Is there any, anybody actively defending? No. Nah. Okay. Bullets fly all around you, Chris. Yana, uh, nobody's shooting at you this round. It makes yeah. you feel sad and alone. Uh, there are other people to shoot at other than the ones that you're shooting or that Chris is fighting as well. That you'd be helping out the group of five people. <laughs> so, uh, right. Chris, what do you do? Are the other three guys, the weird ones, are they using odd weaponry or are they just stabbing? Like, is what are they using? Uh, it looks like they're using uh, duck tool. The uh, Chinese repeating crossbow. Okay. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, not what you were really expecting here. Apparently, they didn't get the message that this is an Old West fight. Although, uh, the uh, one of them is like, go, Mr. Pickles, go! And Mr. Pickles darts in and is grabbing up guns from the fallen women and such. So... <clears throat> I'm going to get closer to the one that fell off or jumped off her horse or whatever. Mm -hmm. How close am I to them? Give me a maneuver roll. Let's see how you do. I got it. You're at the horse. Next round, you can try to roll animal handling to calm it down as it's oh, free. No, 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 no. I want to oh. know like, how, like, range. I need range on the chick that jumped off her horse or came got off her horse. Oh, everybody, everybody's within pistol range, like five, seven meters, something like that. Oh, that's what that's right? what I needed to hear. In that oh, case, okay. the shit out of that bitch instead. Oh, go for it. Uh, he goes <laughs> and with his Buck Rogers pistol. And that's nine damage. Did you roll the thing to see if it explodes? That was the first one. Got it. No problem. Uh, a big laser type bolt, like from a science fiction show, goes through the air and shows. <laughs> And uh, Mr. Pickles goes, oh, he's got, he's got all these weapons. He's like, oh, oh. And he appears, no, Mr. Pickles, don't get distracted. Bring the guns back. We're dying. The Lego headed guy goes, no. Oh. And then you see something fly into his mouth and you can hear it rattle around inside his head. He goes, no. So mm, let's see. And the two, uh, uh, women, one of which is now heavily wounded, attempt to execute Chris. Pew, pew. Right, right, another fumble. The one who got out her rifle attempts to shoot him as well. Come on, another fumble. Now, she actually hit him because his life is not difficult enough. Let's see. This is a medium rifle. Ten. Uh, the medium rifle, Chris, does four. Okay. So the fumble card for one of the pistol wielding women, she goes ha and throws away all of her held items. So she goes, God damn it. And oh, if there's a bad guy close, right, Chris, a pistol skids to your feet. Okay. She looks at it, looks at you, thinks it over for a bit. Yana, uh, what do you do? Mm -hmm. I shoot at the person who's attacking the three people. Hmm. For eight. Damn, okay, one of them gets really fucking wounded. Mr. Pickles goes, he's like, yeah, blood goes against him. He's like, ah, my fur. And next round. 
Hmm. Villains are first, heroes, nothing special. And unless you had cybernetics and then you're fucked. So, uh, right. The one who threw her pistol at Chris's feet tries to whirl. She's trying a ride roll to get the fuck out of here because apparently she, yeah, she's floundering around on her horse right now. The other one with her pistol fires at Chris. Close, close. And the one, the one uh, who has a rifle and shot Chris successfully attempts to uh, shoot him. Anyway, so uh, meanwhile, the the other guys are pretty much uh, two. The two human-looking guys have gone down. Mister Pickles is running back toward the Lego-headed guy with a bunch of weapons. And give me spot at negative thirty as you're both we're very busy right Got now. It. Yeah, no. Uh, no. Right. She completely misses the giant airship that's uh, slowly pulling over the battle, and you see people are now starting to drop stuff on the riders who are coming up. And it appears to be stuff in bottles that are going off and exploding and such. And the horses are rearing and plunging and whatnot. And right. Who is above? Like, is there like. It appears to be a big, it appears to be like a regular ship, like a boat, a sailing boat, but with a huge gas bladder above it that looks like it was sewn together from various hides of cow-like beasts and yana this looks real familiar to you Doesn't it? <laughs> oh yeah you you remember uh being uh tied to the front of this boat at one point oh oh <laughs> oh <laughs> but right. i don't see it so. no not at all sorry good point and now we move into hero's turn uh, also, they're dropping some ropes and stuff uh, over the side. Doc, what do you do? I'm going to take out the bitch with the rifle. Mm -hmm. Oh, poor, poor her. Fuck you. <laughs> what? I spend a pause on that. That one is the gun exploding in my hand. <laughs> All right, but you did roll a crit, so you do get double damage, yeah? She, like her ancestors die. Twenty five. She turns ash. into electricity and vanishes, and there's a pile of ash left. Mm -hmm. As you knew would happen. Yana, what do you do? She was at the person I was shooting before. Hmm. Eight again. Ashes, so it's sixteen. Ashes, they all... Definitely, she's dead. And nice. right, uh, both of you guys give me luck rolls. Lower is better by half. Got it. Yana? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't make it. Doc, a rope slaps you in the face. <laughs> Yana, the only rope is all the way over there, slapping Doc in the face. I see. Next round. There's also other ropes near the air, guys. Come on, Lego Bob. Shut the fuck up. Don't call me that, Mr. Pickles. Lego Bob picks up Mr. Pickles and heads to a rope with his hand outstretched in the Lego grip. Next round. Villains are first, heroes are second. Babbling incoherently is approved. The air lady was firing at Chris, just watched her buddy turn into literally a pile of ashes. She is trying her best to ride off right now. She has no interest in continuing this battle. She's not riding especially well. The other, the other people are in complete fucking disarray right now because they're getting bombed. And uh, the Lego guy is having trouble getting his hand to grip the rope because since his hand's kind of a 
uh, circular shape and the rope's circular, it just slips right through and Mr. Pickle's like, ah! <laughs> so, uh, Doc, what do you do? I will grab onto the rope. Okay. You see the woman with no name all the way over there. She's like a sprint roll away. What do you do, woman with no name? I try to sprint towards a rope. I don't sprint. She's running like she's wearing roller skates and not used to it. So we now go to next round. Now, Chris, with a successful acrobatics, you could try to Tarzan her if you wanted. Hmm. And villains are first and get a total heal. Not anybody who's dead, just the wounded ones. Because <laughs> they're the ashes turn. <laughs> that would be fucked up. <laughs> they all get up. Ha ha! Posing dramatically is approved. Right. Uh, the, the bad guys are attempting to get their shit together from being bombed. They're, get, they're pulling their shit together, but they're still getting bombed. Let's see how the bombing run's doing. Yeah, it's better than their shit. All right. So, uh, Doc, she's having problems getting here. She's tripping over rubble and bodies and dead horse. What That's do you do? awful. I holster my gun. <laughs> <laughs> Probably for the best. All right. He goes, mm. And Yana, what do you do? Try to sprint again. <laughs> and not successfully. You, have you ever watched the Olympics and they have all these women who are just super awesome at running really fast? You are not one of them. <laughs> I see. <laughs> you are two thirds of the way there. Next round, you will be there just through sheer stubbornness, but you're definitely not helping. So, yep. uh, right, for their round, uh, Doc Fulton, your your feet begin to leave the ground a bit. 